Wonderful to be here today, and I do really want to thank our chairman, Gallagher, and the ranking member, Krishna Murthy. You know, when I was invited to be on um, the special committee, my first question was, is this going to be a serious committee, and are we going to really work hard together to actually solve some of our nation's tough problems? And I can tell you that I think this today is an example of just how we're all working to do that. Um, I'm speaking to you today as a veteran, as a legislator and as a mother of four school-aged children. And I can tell you that when it comes to media apps like TikTok, we are failing our children and we are failing our country. It's critical that Congress take action to address the national security threat posed by TikTok. I've heard far too many times that it's too popular or it's too big to tackle. You know, I'm sick and tired of hearing that argument. When we know that the right thing to do for our country is to tackle this problem, then we are going to come together and do it. Why in the hell would we allow a foreign adversary like the Chinese Communist Party, a regime actively committing genocide against its own people, a regime with views antithetical to our democratic values, to control a technology platform and key source of information that reaches half of the United States population? We know that the CCP requires all domestic companies, including ByteDance, to share data with Beijing and assist its national security services upon request under its 2017 intelligence law. That means Americans' data is always at risk, always at risk of seizure by the CCP, and the content our kids view can be manipulated by CCP decree. We know that TikTok has continually censored anti-regime content, such as references to Tibet or Tiananmen Square. In New Jersey, TikTok has banned users who've spoken out about China's forced labor and horrific genocide of the Uyghur people. It's unacceptable. And that's exactly why we need to divest. All Americans deserve access to information and media platforms that are free from the influence of hostile foreign actors like the Chinese Communist Party. I hope the Energy and Commerce Committee will move quickly and the Speaker will bring this bill up for a vote to protect our democracy, our national security, and most importantly, our children. Thank you.